All right, so what I'm using is BSR Screen Recorder to uh, copy into a video uh, my mouse clicks and so on uh, to uh, begin a, um, an example of how to use Zoom and Trial Director together. The first thing I want to do before I uh, actually start Zoom um, is to uh, start up my um, uh, Trial Director program. I want to get it launched. So I'm going to double click on Trial Director 6 to get it up and going to make sure that that is one of the um, windows of applications that I could uh, I could uh, use when I uh, when I get my Zoom app loaded. I'm going to share my screen. So I'm going to just load a uh, little simple case here. WF case, World's Fair case that I've created. And we'll open that up and wait for the uh, program to get loaded. And uh, now I can take a look at my documents up here, see what I have, my multimedia. I have a transcript and I have just a few documents. Um, I don't have any really good workbooks yet, so, but I don't have all the documents I want either. So I'm going to go over to um, my uh, documents and load some more uh, documents into my case so that I have it ready to go when I uh, go into Zoom. So I'm going to import new items manually. Um, I'm going to uh, go to a couple folders on my desktop uh, where I have some World's Fair um, pictures that I want to bring into the case. And uh, so I'm going to go to that location. And I have them stored here under a special folder. And let's go into the um, Bird gauge folder, and I'll open that file. And now I'm going to give it the uh, first name um, Cage, and uh, load that into my case. Now I'm going to go get some more documents for this case, manually selecting again, and uh, go into a different folder. Uh, this time come down here and uh, go into the Cascades folder and load a Cascade picture. Now I want to change the uh, prefix to reflect the kind of exhibit this is. In this case it's Cascades. And now I'm going to go back and bring in some other information for this case. And in this uh, instance, I'm going to go uh, to a uh, find a uh, folder here with some things of interest. And it looks like this was something the committee had picked, these particular files. And this time I'm going to select a number of these because the committee that I was working with um, said these are the ones that they want to present in the case by team members. And let's see if I, I don't want to bring that one. I'm making decisions here now as to whether I want to bring in all of them or just some of them. And uh, even though the team thought these would be good, I'm not so sure. Oh, that one's good. I like this one. And so I'm going to import these. And now I'm going to put in front of that Instead of Cascade, I'm going to I'll call this Picks. Uh, these are the committee picks. And bring those into my case. Now you'll notice over here on the left, uh, the documents have been brought into these folders. There's Cage, Cascades, and the Picks folders got quite a few more uh, that have been brought into my uh, case here. And now I, maybe I'd like to uh, bring in some multimedia, some 
video files. So I'm going to go to Documents, Import uh, manually again. And now this time I'm going to see if I can find in this subfolder here something that has some movies or videos. Let's go down here and take a look at all these folders. And um, I don't see anything that says movies. Um, but uh, I think there was something about maybe some ah, 1904 movies. How about that? Let's see if we can find some that we'll, we can import. Um, kind of cursor down, take a look at what we have. And you can also change the view to detail so you can see the extensions on some of these um, on some of these videos. And some of these may be ancillary files. They may not really be movies. So I'm going to open this up and look at type and sort them by type. And so here are some AV files. Um, and uh, let me pick, uh, there's an Annie Oakley. Um, there's a, I see exploration of the fair using the Gigapan. Maybe I like that one. And then I have the um, uh, firefighters. And I come down here and take a look what else we've got here. Um, something on the pike. All right, I'll import those. Now, since these are videos or movies, I can put in a VID, VO, and click OK. And now these uh, videos will be brought into uh, into my case. And uh, if I look at multimedia. You'll notice that uh, because a uh, trial director recognized the file format of these as being video files, it brought them into um, a special multimedia folder for me. So now um, I think I'm pretty ready to drag some things down into my workbooks down here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a, a new workbook. Um, so I'm going to right button click and say create a new workbook and we're going to call it a multimedia workbook and we're, we're going to call it a video and then I'm going to drag these multimedia files down into that workbook so I have them down there and uh, Pike down in there as well. And this one. And then the Andy Oakley one too. So I've got my videos. Now I I want to have another folder here for photographs. So I'm going to create a new workbook. It'll be a standard. And we'll call it photos. And now I can go up and uh, take a look at, I think I'll I want that cage folder, I mean a photo, so I'll drag it down into my photos. Uh, the Cascades, let's see what we got there. Oh yes, we'll take that one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one and drop it down in my photos. And then I got my pics. Yes, most of these I, I want to bring down so uh, I can uh, click on all of them and bring those down into my photo. Um, workbook as well. So here are all my files now that I think I'm going to go with in presenting my case. Um, so now I want to go into presentation mode and open up that window. So before I even think about launching Zoom, I want to get this particular aspect of trial director ready to go, my presentation mode. And so it's ready, and I can come over here, and I can see I've got uh, my two folders, my video folder, and I've got my folder, photo folder. So I've got these ready to throw up, and I can make my uh, presentation. I make sure it's working. I can clear that. I'll keep this screen blank. Now I'm going to use the Alt-Tab key on my keyboard, because I want to go back now 
um, to um, the, um, uh, I want to go back to the uh, internet so I can load um, my, uh, my Zoom, uh, my, um, my uh, uh, Zoom uh, internet site. So I'm going to have to uh, go to Alt-Tab again. I need to get to a um, uh, a, um, a presentation, um, Zoom presentation. So I'm going to come over here. I put my my uh, Windows toolbar over on the right, so it's easier to get at and not won't interfere with my presentation mode. So I'm going to get over here, and then uh, I need to uh, launch my browser so I can get out to. To, uh, my Zoom. So now I'm going to go to zoom.us and uh, I've got to make sure, of course, I got my internet going, which I don't have. So I'm going to launch that and give myself an internet connection. And uh, by the way, it's a good idea to have a backup internet connection, like use a cell phone for a hot spot or have. You can purchase special hotspots so that you can use those as backups if your regular internet isn't working, which it looks like I'm, I'm okay right now, so that's good. So now I can go to my account. I've got an account set up, and um, I'm going to take a look at my meetings that I have ready. Uh, I've already set up a meeting for this particular trial, we'll say. So I go to meetings, and uh, you can see... Uh, I've got this one here, Trial Director Zoom Session Example, and I've set it up for a certain time, and I can click Start um, to get it going. And this would be for practicing with Zoom with your um, teammates um, on the Zoom case. So, you know, if you're actually going to launch a, a, a hybrid um, Zoom presentation using Trial Director, the court will send you the link that's going to be used. You wouldn't do this, but right now I want to start this meeting. The court would start the uh, Zoom meeting for you, and you get a link, and then you click on it, and you go there. But this is for in-house where you're actually practicing. Uh, you're practicing with uh, tri uh, trial director and uh, Zoom. So I'm going to go ahead here and let it go through the motions of launching the meeting. And this is what it looks like. When you launch the meeting, now you can see you have to decide to join with your audio. And now that I've done that, I can open this up full screen. And uh, I can go ahead and angle my camera, angling my camera there. And uh, now let's take a look at the uh, Zoom interface uh, that we have. Over here is our stop video. Um, when I stop the video, um, I only see my name. I'm still logged in, and I can start the video. That is a, a very important um, feature because when you are not wanting the video to be showing your witness or what you're doing in the um, in the uh, background, well, it's not your turn. You want to be able to stop your video. But you also want to be able um, to uh, mute yourself. So, for example, here's participants. Here is me. I can mute myself so I can turn off my microphone. You want to do that if you are not supposed to be talking, making noise, talk, coughing, talking to somebody else. You want to mute yourself. I'm going to leave myself enabled here. And that's also how you would unmute yourself. You would uh, go up if I mute myself, and then it will say unmute, and then you click there to unmute yourself. So uh, that's a, a feature that you should be aware of. I'll turn my video back on here. Um, and then um, when you are actually doing a hosting a, um, a Zoom, you have security options here. Notice I have... I've got the ability to let people rename themselves, unmute themselves. They can start their own videos. They can enter chat. I don't have share screen, so if I wanted someone else to be able to share their screen, I'd have to enable that. I have enabled the waiting room, which means that the persons who are 
uh, going to be coming in would have to let me, you know, enter them in, which is a good idea for in-house when you're just doing a team thing. Somebody might hack into your uh, meeting and you could see that um, they're in the waiting room, you don't recognize them, then you wouldn't uh, allow them to come in. Um, so th those are a few things. You can have a, um, a profile picture if you want to have one of those. I'm not going to get into all that data, but now um, also down below here you can see where it says record. You can record your Zoom session. So whatever you're sharing on the screen um, you can record that along with your audio. Right now, though, I want to do is share a screen. Before I share a screen, I've got to make sure that the screen I want to share has got focus. The way I do that is use the Alt-Tab key to bring up all the open screens that I have. And the one screen that I want to share is this one here, uh, the Trial Director Presentation Kiosk. That's what I want showing. So I have to click on it and make sure it's focused like that. Now I can do Alt-Tab and go back into my Zoom session so that um, I can uh, share uh, share my screen with, um, with the audience. So now I come back here and I go down to Share Screen. And I make sure then I pick the uh, Trial Director Kiosk and then pick Share. So now here I am uh, in the uh, trial director presentation mode. Um, you can see my video, which I can move around, or I can actually turn this off if it's getting in the way. I can hide my thumbnail video by clicking there. I'll leave it on for now. Now I can present my case. So I can come down to a photo, a photo and I can throw it up on the screen. And I can start talking about this, and I can um, use my various um, annotation tools. So I can come down here and do a tear out and choose that. And I can say, well, I want to show uh, this particular part of that screen and bring it up closer so people can be looking at it. And I can be talking about the cascades and how the water was pumped up the hill and so on. And then I can clear, clear my screen. Um, or I can use the um, uh, undo feature to take away the, um, the tear out and then cl click undo again to clear the screen. I could go that way or I could have used this X to clear the screen as well. Now I can also bring up out of another folder a video and uh, come down to my um, videos and throw that up on the screen. <coughs> By the way, you just heard me coughing. <coughs> I could have gone up if I knew I was going to cough, and I could have muted my microphone by going up here and doing that, which I didn't do. I didn't anticipate coughing, to tell you the truth. So, um, but good idea to be able to quickly mute your mic and learn how to do that. So now what I want to do um, is come down and pick the uh, selection tool and play this video <coughs> and I have my play tool down here that lets me move through the video and uh, go to different locations in the video and uh, talk about it and so on <coughs> then when I want to clear that I pick the X clear that out of there and then I could go to a, a different video and throw that up on the screen <coughs> and then play it. I can uh, go ahead and uh, move it forward and uh, talk about it. So these were the firefighters at the 1904 World's Fair. It was a demonstration of how to put out fires at the fair. So when I'm done with that, then I can um, uh, clear my screen. And uh, now if I want to go back to my uh, video that I, of myself and I want to 
stop sharing the screen. I click up here, stop sharing. And so now I'm back to my full screen mode. Now, if there were other individuals who are watching this at this time, they would be showing up as thumbnails all across the screen and uh, as participants. And uh, I would then uh, decide what kind of uh, screen mode I wanted to be in, whether I wanted to be in gallery mode or, or, or what kind of uh, video mode I want to be in. I can stop sharing my video. I can pick this option. And you'll notice I'm using a virtual background. That's not the real background. I have a green screen. And uh, so if I wanted to, um, let me show you in the video settings here, um, I have um, set up to uh, use a, um, ba a background. If I go over here, um, over here to the background and filters option, um, and um, I have the uh, various options here to show whether I want to sh uh, choose a different virtual background. So I could go in here and uh, I can upload a different, uh, add a file uh, to the uh, for the background. Or I can come down in here and pick a different background. And I can pick this background here and automatically it changes over uh, to the other. Now my green screen is not covering up the whole background area, so I have to move it over that way. Now, if I want to uh, stop, um, just to show you the um, the um, what the green screen looks like, let me move up here a moment, and um, I can turn the uh, turn that virtual uh, green screen off and uh, show it to you. So here is what the green screen looks like. It's just a big cloth that is the color green, and then I can uh, turn it back on again. And uh, you know, see, it says none, and I can pick a different background. So normally, in, for a court situation, you're going to pick something pretty bland, pretty sedate, nothing that's going to be distracting, um, something that would be uh, appropriate in a courtroom setting, um, and so nothing that you're going to be talking about. Um, so I don't know if I've got anything simple here that I can use. Let me take a look. Uh, I've got a couple different backgrounds. Um, you sure don't want to pick something that's going to call attention to itself, like the like this monkey that's behind me. You don't want something like that. Um, so, in any case, pick something that's pretty neutral, and um, and then um, I'll put flowers here for now, just to have something plain behind myself. Now, if I want, if I had been, no, I'm actually recording this with BSR Screen Recorder. Uh, if I wanted to record this whole presentation, though, uh, with, um, you know, the, the practice uh, sort of trial director case that we're doing with our teams, I wanted to record it, I would click on the record button down here. And then um, the uh, program, Zoom, would record it into a video file when I was done and I quit it would um, it would have uh, an option to save that video, and I could watch the presentation, and we could watch it as a team, and we could uh, correct any mistakes that we had made during the practice. But now I'm done with the Zoom, and so I want to uh, end the session, so I end my participation. I can just leave the meeting or let it go on for the others, and they can continue on. But I'll end the meeting for all, and then come out of there. Then I'm going to use my Alt-Tab key uh, to come back um, to um, my uh, presentation mode. And um, again, um, the video that I'm recording is with uh, the uh, BSR screen recorder. I'm going to exit out of uh, Trial Director, and uh, I'm going to come back to um, uh, Trial Director itself here. I can exit out of there. And go back to, um, eventually go back to uh, my, uh, my desktop as um, I am going to terminate this BSR screen recording, and I wanted to show you how to do that. So I'm going to press um, F7, and that will be...